Okay, so before this video starts, I would like to put the point across that retopologizing is really harder to give a tutorial on and advice on. So in this video, I will be showing you how to retopologize the body. It's not a straight follow through tutorial as per se, because again, it does depend on a lot of different factors. Anyway, enjoy. Hi, welcome back to this tutorial for retopologizing our hoodie for use in a game. In this tutorial, we're going to start on the body before working our way up and connecting the arms and the body and the hood all together. So like with the arms, we're going to use the tube tool. And we're going to increase the divisions to about 16 because the body's obviously a lot larger than the arms. We're going to need more geometry. So we're going to start by adding some tubes along the body. Remembering to add more in places of deformation or geometry changes. So what we're going to do for this model is not particularly pay attention to the curves. Instead, we're going to bake a lot of these creases into the model. We're going to need to sort some of these out though, because at the moment you can see we have changes such as here, where this point is now connected to a crease, so it's sticking out. So we're going to have to change that by just slightly following the curve so it doesn't stand out as much as it is. So we'll move some shapes along. And remember we can add more points of topology as we go through, add some more ring lines if we need it. At which point in this we probably will so we can sort out topology with all these creases. So we're going to try and get them to follow a general curve shape around. So now as you can see this line goes all the way around that curve, round the back and up this one. And we're going to try to keep each side pretty similar. Add in some topology here and we can follow that line a little more closely. And we'll do the same over here to try and keep the sides similar and we can also use it to again keep following that topology. And really it's just about trying to choose which line is the better topology line round the mesh whilst keeping in all the important details. So if we go back to this big curve, we're going to have to move a lot of these down. And follow this curve round. And we'll add in another line. And this line, instead of following any curves, will just be used to bring back the shape of the body. Gonna go back to options and turn on smooth shade so we can get a more realistic idea of how this is looking. So this is something that just takes a really long time in trying to figure out the best flow of topology. If you're struggling to know a good flow of topology, 
you can easily Google some reference for human topology, but really it's just like anything else. Trying to keep the important parts topologized with enough sort of loops and vertices for parts of deformation, which is why you have more loops in places like the shoulder and the elbow, because we get a cleaner, more nicer, smoother animation deforming. So here we have a much cleaner topology than the tube tool we started off with. It's still low poly and follows a lot of the curves as I've been saying. Like I said, it's mainly just down to the sort of model you do have and just trying to keep that topology clean as you follow it. Things like this square here I need to change because that sort of stretch quad should be avoided. Obviously sometimes you can't really help it and if it's in a place where the animation doesn't rely on too much then you should be able to get away with it, kind of like here, where we're not really going to be animating that part of the body separately. But if it was somewhere like the elbow, then you do want to try and keep the quads as clean as you possibly can. As always, you can add in more topology if needed, so this sort of curve here, I should probably move up to try and keep it much cleaner, and then I'm just going to add another loop between it and the bottom one. Ideally, a high poly model would probably have about 2,000 triangles, so that would be 1,000 faces. So we do still have quite a nice budget to work with, and we can go in and optimize it a bit more in the later stage. So there, I've just added in that line, and everything's looking a bit nicer and a bit cleaner. In the next video, we'll work on finishing off this part of the body and connecting up the sleeves with everything and then starting the hood. One more thing is... For a better topology, you want to try and keep the middle of the body a straight line. So if you just use this symmetry button to enable symmetry, and then choose the center ones, you can see we have this green dot which the vertices is snapping to. And that is going to make it snap to the middle of the mesh. So that's going to help for UV unwrapping. However, as you can see at the back, when we try and grab one of them, it's just going for both of these vertices here. So an easy way to do that would be to turn it off, add in a loop, and we can just move everything off to the side a little bit. And now we can do it back with this line in the middle, which now offers us that same line. And this helps for texturing and animation because that's like the middle of the spine, the middle of the chest. So we've got some reference points there. Again, we've added in some topology, but if it's getting a bit too much for the final model, we can just take some out and optimize it a bit more. At this point, we're trying to focus on getting that shape as low poly as possible. But we do have that final bit of amendment before exporting the garment and UVing it and texturing it and all that, where we can remove some lines that we don't need. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions otherwise, you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye.